excellence online subscribe to our channel now for more educational videos and press the bell icon for more updates bismillah rahman rahim assalamu alaikum i am sheikh masood mahmood lecturer of physics at excellence online in today's video discussion we'll discuss about the explanation of mcqs that are asked in all karachi self assessment test 2018 conducted by academy of excellence the first question of the test was a metal sphere of radius r is dropped into a tank of water as it sinks at a speed v it experiences a drag force f given by f is equal to k r v where k is a constant what are the si unit of k the options are here on the screen to find the correct solution to find the correct answer we take the formula f is equal to k r v arrange it for k we get k equal to f upon r v aur ab is equation mein agar hum in tamam quantities ke jo ke right hand side par hain inke units substitute kar di jaye to force kilogram meter per second square r radius meter v velocity meter per second और इस इक्वेशन को अगर सॉल्व किया जाए तो वी गेट किलोग्राम मीटर पर किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकंड। सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेक पर सेकंड। द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच पेयर इंक्लूड्स अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एंड अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी। द ऑप्शंस आर इफ यू सी द सेकंड ऑप्शन ऑप्शन बी हेयर द फोर्स इज अ वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी एंड कैनेटिक एनर्जी इज द स्केलर क्वान्टिटी दियर फोर The correct answer is B, force kinetic energy. The next question: The normal body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. What is the correspondent Celsius temperature? The options are here. To find, to this question, we have to convert the temperature of Fahrenheit to Celsius. Mein convert karna hai. So we take the formula T C is equal to 5 upon 9 T F. Temperature in Fahrenheit scale minus 32. Agar ab temperature in Fahrenheit scale ko 98.6 सब्टीट्यूट करके इसे सॉल्व करें सो वी गेट द आंसर 37 सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी 37 सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सम अमाउंट ऑफ हीट गिवन टू अ गेस अंडर आइसोथर्मल कंडीशन विल रिजल्ट इन द ऑप्शन आर हियर आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस में सिस्टम के टेम्परेचर को कॉन्स्टेंट रहता है अगर टेम्परेचर कॉन्स्टेंट है तो कानेटिक एनर्जी भी कॉन्स्टेंट रहेगी लिहाजा वो तमाम ऑप्शन वो तमाम ऑप्शंस, वो तमाम डिस्ट्रक्टर्स जिनमें टेम्परेचर या कानेट इंटरनल एनर्जी चेंज हो रही है वो पॉसिबल आंसर्स नहीं है सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ए डूइंग एक्सटर्नल वर्क ओके बाकी जो ऑप्शंस हैं उनमें आप देखें ई e के अलावा बाकी जो तीन ऑप्शंस हैं उन तमाम में टेम्परेचर चेंज होने की बात हो रही है या फिर इंटरनल एनर्जी के इंक्रीमेंट की बात हो रही है अगला सवाल है द कैपेसिटी एंड एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन अ पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर कंडेंसर लिखा है कंडेंसर को कैपेसिटर भी कहते हैं कैपेसिटर को हम इस क्वेश्चन को दोबारा लेंगे क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन अगेन द कैपेसिटी एंड एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन अ पैरल प्लेट कंडेंसर कंडेंसर कैपेसिटर विद एयर बिटवीन द प्लेट्स आर रिस्पेक्टिवली सी एंड डब्ल्यू इफ एयर इज रिप्लेस बाय मी का डायलैक्टिक कांस्टेंट सिक्स बिटवीन द प्लेट्स एंड द चार्ज रिमेनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट द कैपेसिटी एंड एनर्जी विल बिकम रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑप्शन आर हियर पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर की कैपेसिटेंस का रिलेशन सी ए एप्सिलन नॉट एप्सिलन आर अपॉन डी द इक्वेशन क्लियरली सेज के कैपेसिटेंस डिपेंड करती है रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी ऑफ द डायलैक्टिक पर सो इफ वी इनकी रिजोल्ट लीन रिलेशनशिप है दैट्स वाई इफ वी इंक्रीज द रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी सिक्स टाइम्स तो कैपेसिटेंस भी सिक्स टाइम्स इंक्रीज हो जाएगा जबकि एनर्जी इज रिलेटेड बाय द कैपेसिटेंस एज वन अपॉन टू क्यू स्क्वायर अपॉन सी यर द एनर्जी इज द रेसिपोकल इज द इनवर्स इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कैपेसिटेंस सो इफ वी इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटेंस सिक्स टाइम्स सो एनर्जी विल डिक्रीज बाय वन अपॉन सिक्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए सिक्स टाइम्स ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस एंड वन अपॉन सिक्स टाइम्स ऑफ एनर्जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्केलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वैक्टर वाई एंड जेड इज ऑप्शन आर हियर दो वेक्टर्स वैन कंपोनेंट्स फॉर्म में गिवन हो तो उनका डॉट प्रोडक्ट डिफाइन होता है सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द करस्पॉन्डिंग कंपोनेंट्स तो लिहाजा अगर इन दोनों वेक्टर्स के एक्स वाई और जेड कंपोनेंट्स को मल्टीप्लाई करके एड किया जाए तो फाइनल आंसर वी गेट 32 सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी 32 टू 
the next question a racing car accelerates from uniformly through three gear changes with the following average speeds 20 meter per second for two seconds 40 meter per second for two seconds 60 meter per second for six seconds the overall average speed is options are here jab kabhi average velocity ki baat ki jaye average speed ki baat ki jaye so the average speed is the total displacement divided by total time to find the total displacement in each interval what we do we multiply velocity and time so the first interval the speed was 2 and the time is 2 the speed was 20 and time is 2 for second interval the speed was 40 and time for 2 seconds and the, the next interval and the third, third and last interval the speed was 60 meter per second and time was 6 seconds so again ko multiply karke uh, 8 kiya jaye to we get distance total distance uh, travel during the 10 minute 10 seconds total distance travel during the 10 seconds so finally we get the answer 48 meter per second so the correct answer is 48 meter per second d next question a boy throws a ball vertically upwards it rises to a maximum height where it is momentarily at rest and falls back to his end which of the following gives the acceleration of the ball at various stages in its motion take vertically upwards as positive neglect air resistance the options are here uh, as the question indicates that vertically upward direction is taken positive it means that vertical downward direction will be considered negative and the gravitational acceleration g is always directed downward so it means that the g will be negative then the correct option is b in at all the studies the g <coughs> has a value of 9.8 meter per 9.81 meter per second square with the negative sign <coughs> the next question is the diagram shows two trolleys x and y about to collide and gives the momentum of each trolley before the collision after the collision the direction of motion of both trolleys are reversed and the magnitude of the momentum of x is then 2 newton second what is the magnitude of the corresponding momentum of y to find the momentum of the trolley y after collision question 19 the options are to find the momentum of trolley y after collision we use law of conservation of momentum and according to the law of conservation momentum the initial momentum of trolley x minus initial momentum trolley y minus s lia both the trolleys are moving in opposite direction is equal to collision ke baad trolleys ki motion ki direction reverse ho rahi hai jaise question mein kaha gaya tha after the collision the direction of motion of both trolleys are reversed agar dono ki direction reverse hai to phir trolley x ki direction reverse hone par usko hum negative sign ke sath consider karte hain jabki trolley y jo hai ye ab positive direction ki taraf move kar rahi hai Given values को अगर substitute करते हैं इस equation में initial momentum of trolley x 20 minus initial momentum of trolley <coughs> y 12 equal to minus sign initial final momentum of trolley x 2. On solving this equation, we get the final momentum of trolley y as 10 newton second in positive direction. So the correct answer answer is the correct answer is 10 newton second. A force 2F acting on a particle of mass 10 kg produces an acceleration of 60 meter per second square. A force of 5F acting on a particle of mass capital M produces an acceleration of 50 meter per second square. What is the mass M? Options are here. From the first uh, part of the question, we can see that when the force was 2F, the acceleration is 60 meter per second square and the mass is 10 kilogram so by using this information we can find the value of f net force is the product of mass and acceleration net force here in the first case is 2 f mass is 10 and the acceleration is 60 meter per second square solving for f we get 300 newton for the second case the force is five times of f which is equal to the product of mass and the acceleration and here in this case acceleration is 50 meter per second square arranging the equation for m we get 5 f upon 50 putting the value of f we get the answer 30 kilograms next question when a body is negatively charged by electrostatic conduction its mass will options are here when a body is charged by electrostatic conduction so it gets electron from another body और जब इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन होंगे तो चार्ज भी बढ़ेगा और साथ साथ मास में भी स्लाइड सा इजाफा हो जाएगा सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज 
slightly slightly increase a is the correct answer the next question three conductors draw respectively current of 1 ampere 2 ampere and 4 ampere when connected in turn across a battery in turns means in parallel if they are connected in series across the same battery the current drawn will be the options are here from the first part of the question we can find out the value of each resistance resistance is the ratio of potential difference to current so r1 will be equal to v upon 1 as the current flowing through the first resistance is r1 for resistance 2 we get r2 equal to, equals to v upon 2 and for resistance r3 we can have the value v upon 4 when these resistances are connected in series then according to ohms the, the total potential is equal to i times re R is the equivalent resistance for the series combination. R E can be replaced by R1 plus R2 plus R3. On substituting the values of R1, we get V equal to I times V upon 1 plus V upon 2 plus V upon 4. Taking LCM inside the bracket, we get 8V plus 4V plus 2V upon 8. Taking V common, we get and adding the values, we get v equal to i times 14 v upon 8 v is cancelled on both the sides so we get the value of current i as 4 upon 7 that is i equal to 4 upon 7 ampere so the correct answer is c 4 upon 7 ampere lens law gives the options are here lens law gives the direction of induced current so the correct answer is c direction of induced current uh, the total power generated by the motor of the crane is equal to the power consumed in lifting hook plus power consumed in lifting the load. Uh, power is the product of force and velocity, so power consumed in lifting the hook will be force. Which hook lift the hook required 1000 newton. Velocity is 0.5, and uh, load ko lift the force required it is equal to the weight of the load, which is mg, mass times gravitation acceleration. Mass is 1000 kilogram, gravitation acceleration g, 10 meter per second square, velocity again 0.5. On solving the values, we get 5500 watt, which can be uh, represented as 5.5 kilowatts. So the correct answer is B, 5.5 kilowatt. The next question is six identical resistors, each of one ohm, are connected as shown in the figure. The equivalent resistance between A and B is options are here. Uh, agar aap Across the terminals A and B, the resistances which are in upper branch, in ka total resistance ho jayega 3 ohm. And the resistance in the lower branch, in ka total resistance bhi 3 ohm hai. So, ye dono 3 ohm, 3 ohm resistances johan parallel mein connected hai. So, in ki total equivalent resistance yogi, 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. On solving this statement, we can get R is equal to 3 upon 2, that is 1.5 ohm. So, the correct answer is, 1.5 ohm next question if, if resistance of galvanometer is 50 ohm the resistance of voltmeter having 5000 ohm resistance series resistance will be options are here agar galvanometer ko voltmeter mein convert karne ke liye 50 ohm ke galvanometer ke saath 5000 ohm resistance series mein lagaya jaye to total resistance will be equal to the sum of the resistance of galvanometer plus resistance connected in series so the total resistance rg plus rx which will be, which will be equal to 50 plus 5000 that is 5050 ohm so the correct answer is e 5050 ohm which of the following materials are used as semiconductors option are here uh, semiconductor material group 4 ke elements hai. A group 4 ke jo elements in silicon and germanium hai. that's why d is the correct answer least dop region in transistor is transistor ke emitter base collector in three regions mein agar hum doping proportion dekhe to emitter is heavily doped uh, base is lightly doped and the um, collector is moderately doped so the least dop region is the base so d is the correct answer the next question the work function for, of a metal is 3.5 electron volt. What is the maximum wavelength of photon that can eject photo electrons from the metal? Options are here on the screen. Uh, work function given hai 3.54 electron volt. If we convert volt, mein convert kar de, to multiply kar de electron ke charge 1.6 10 power minus 19. Uh, length calculate karna hai. We have the formula for work function HC upon lambda. Arranging for lambda, we get 
lambda equal to hc upon phi substitute the values of hc and phi and solving for lambda we get 3.610 power minus 7 agar exponential value ko exponential power ko minus 10 kar liya jaye to we get 3600 10 power minus 10 meter 10 power minus 10 meter is equal to an storm so we can say the wavelength is 3600 an storm so the correct answer is e 3603 and a strong exact answer jo hai wo nahi hai because ke approximation par hum calculation kar rahe hain so correct answer is e 3603 and a strong the earth may be considered to be a uniform sphere of mass m and radius r which one of the following equations correctly relates the universal gravitational constant g to the acceleration of free fall g at the surface of the earth the options are here on the screen uh, the gravitational acceleration at the surface of the earth is given by a small g equal to capital G gravitational constant g times mass of the earth divided by radius of the square of radius of the earth. If we arrange this formula for capital G universal gravitational constant we get g is equal to g small g gravitational acceleration r square upon m. So the correct option is c g r square upon m. The next question. Here on the screen, a block with the mass of 0.1 kilogram is attached to a spring and placed on horizontal frictionless table. The spring is stretched 20 cm when a force of 5 Newton is applied. The spring constant is. Option R here, this question ko solve karne ke liye hooks apply kiya ja sakta hai. Is equal to Kx on substituting the values of force and displacement. F is 5 Newton, X is 20, 20 cm. Centimeter ko meter mein convert karne ke liye 100 se divide kiya. Solving this expression for k, we get 25 Newton per meter. So, the correct answer is B, 25 Newton per meter. Next question. A sound wave with a frequency of 170 hertz travels through air. What is its wavelength? A simple question. A speed of sound is given here, 340 meter per second. The options are here. V is equal to F lambda, a speed of wave correlation. Substitute kar dete values of frequency and wave. wavelength ke liye arrange kar le. Lambda is equal to V upon F. Substitute the values of V and F, we get 340 upon 170. So the wavelength is 2 meter. The correct answer is B, 2 meter. Next question. Light can be polarized by the options are reflection, double reflection, a scattering of light. Light ke, ke polarization ke liye tino hi method applicable hote hai. Uh, that's why the correct answer is E. All are the correct one, two, and three. The next question: A needle of length five centimeter is placed at forty-five centimeter from a lens, forms an image on a screen placed ninety centimeter on the other side of the lens. Find the focal length of the lens. The options are here. For this problem we can apply lens formula. According to lens formula, one upon f is equal to one upon p plus one upon q. Here in this question, the object distance p is forty-five centimeter, and the image distance q is. 90 centimeter on substituting these values and solving uh, for the focal length we get 30 centimeters so the correct answer is c 30 centimeter the next question a billet carpascal has a diameter about 9 exponential minus 6 meter in which excited state should a hydrogen atom be so that it is just about as big as billet carpascal options are here on the screen uh, diameter of the orbit the diameter of the or blood carpascal which is the diameter of the orbit of the hydrogen atom is 9 exponential minus 6 meters. So radius will be 4.5 10 power minus 10 meter. According to Bohr's theory, the radius of nth orbit of hydrogen atom is 5.3 10 power minus 11 new, uh, n square. Here n is the number of orbit. Substitute the value of n. Uh, substitute the value of Rn and solving for n square, we get finally. 291 so the correct answer is 291 c the next question moderators are used in nuclear reactors two options are here moderators ka jo function hai wo neutrons ko slow down karna ya unko decelerate karna hai so the correct answer is e both c and d the last question alpha particles consist of ek alpha particle mein do proton do neutron hote hain aur do neutron do, do proton helium nucleus uh, form karte hai. so the correct answer is c helium nuclei thank you students and best of luck for their uh, aptitude exams